Okay, guys, we have our uh, grainy video going on. It is Thursday. Um, last night was really rough. Um, I'm going to cut to a video here, too, but to explain it to you guys. But basically, um, the pain got so bad to the point that, um, the phantom pain, that is, that I really couldn't uh, compose myself anymore. Um, when this is happening, um, there's nothing you can do about it. I've tried getting in different positions. I've tried stretching. I've tried... <sighs> Just lifting a little bit amount of weight with the leg, um, the right one that is, uh, both legs that is. Um, tried applying ice, tried rubbing it on the bottom of it. I've tried pretty much everything to try to escape the pain, however, it's not. And I'm taking milligrams of Dilaudid, and it's not even, it wasn't even putting a dent in it last night, and uh, Oxycontin not even putting a dent in it. and you can't escape from it and it comes so sudden I can be having a conversation with you just like right now and then all of a sudden in the back of my head all of a sudden I get this sharp driving pain that someone's driving a knife on the bottom of my toe, the bottom of my foot, the bottom of my heel um, it's random it chooses what it wants to do and it just goes with it so um, here's the video so it can be further explained what's going on so we'll cut to that here okay guys it is um Oh, it's about 9.45, and uh, we're actually on our way to Jacksonville, um, Jacksonville Mayo Clinic ER. So around 8.30, I managed to get some huge uh, phantom uh, limb pain, and I thought for sure that uh, previously in the video that I did earlier today, um, I thought that the pain was pretty much dealt with with the gabapentin, and I didn't take any painkillers, but right around, I'd say, 5 o'clock, the pain all of a sudden started getting so it was immediately after I did the video um, immediately after the pain got so bad um, I have phantom pain that was basically stabbing me in the back of the heel um, lower big toe um, pinky toe and then basically I mean wherever wherever you could find a spot to basically put something on my foot I'm gonna call it needles and uh, they were pretty much stabbed me all throughout the whole bottom of my uh, foot and then also on top of it my foot felt like it's on fire so um, I took two Dilaudins to try to you know calm the pain down and that didn't put a dent in any of it um, so my wife came in and I started hysterically crying around like let's say seven and um, my wife came in and gave me another Dilaudin to try to you know stabilize me the best she could and uh, Taking that one extra Dilaudid did help, um, but it, it just took the edge off. Like, I'm still experiencing pain like now. I'm still experiencing um, stabbing on the bottom of my heel and then the lower part of the big toe. And um, I'm still getting the tingling and the stabbing of the needles on the bottom as well. But, um, yeah, so after a while, I went back to my wife. My wife insisted that we go to the ER, and uh, I told her no, so... Um, we tried to get the pain under control and it uh, hasn't been under control so we're on the way to the ER right now but and um, so that was the video we were pretty much up in Jacksonville last night for the whole entire night um, we went to the hotel we slept in there um, and what blows my mind is that so they we, we went to the ER and they gave me what was it the highest amount of a lot in that they could give me which is 10 milligrams and so I was okay I we left the hospital life was good and um, at around that was that was right at 2 in the morning and around what was it 4 I get woken up with the same exact pain that I went in there with and I mean that's 10 milligrams of Dilaudid for it only to last two hours and this pain is so bad I mean that's just telling you guys how bad the pain is I'm I haven't taken any painkillers prior to this, um, you know, people, yes, they get addicted to painkillers, but the, <laughs> nothing's putting a dent in this stuff, and so this morning we walked into the doctor's office, um, and uh, they did take a, uh, take a look at the dressings, um, they did take them off, and uh, I actually, right now, we uh, have video of that as well, so why don't we go ahead and cut to that right now.
it shrunk quite a bit. It's good. It'll keep shrinking. Mm -hmm. Get some scissors for me. Give me some sutures, some of the sutures that are from the back. Do you guys disinfect those every time? This is where sterile. That's why I grabbed them. Oh. It's out of the sterile pack. Sterile So you put those in the machine and they sterilize them after? I was just curious. Yeah. That's what we use for all suture removal. Oh. I don't normally use it for dressings, but for you, I'm going to use these. <laughs> sure, you guys are paranoid. <laughs> hey, you can never be too paranoid. That's what I think. Okay. Thanks for parking the car. No problem. Thanks, Karen. Piece of cake. Get another zero form and some alcohol Sorry. and some dressings. Okay. That looks excellent. Very pleased with that. Very pleased good. with that. It looks good. You can see it remodeling itself already, right? Mm -hmm. The whole point yep. of the shrinker sock. Yep. So where is most of your pain? It's nowhere in here. It's all yeah, down it's here. It's all down there. Okay. Yep. So you're experiencing phantom pain. It's going to be cold and wet. Okay. Um, I really, I highly recommend we do the block again. Okay. It's part of resetting the nerves, resetting um, the pain. Okay. Um, and so I'm just going to put on another light, small dressing, okay. like you had on there. Uh -huh. And we're going to get you over to uh, Dr. Clinton's area. Okay. You didn't eat a big breakfast? No breakfast. I didn't have any breakfast. Okay, sorry. That feels awesome, actually. Good. And it's sharp, shooting, nerve, pain. You it feel is. like your foot is still there? Yep. This is sharp it as burning, um, pinching, like stabbing. Four by fours and a uh, curl X. Yeah. So oh, we just, just got to reset it. We just, yeah. We've got to shut the nerve down. Yep. It's angry, that's for sure. It's so angry. I would take that pain right If now. the nerve, if that would work for the nerve, we could do that, <laughs> but it doesn't. So probably take stitches out next time? Uh, possibly. Usually three weeks is the absolute earliest we mm -hmm. would take them out. Um, but sometimes i got to leave them in longer. So you okay Sorry. if I pull like the shrinker sock off and just to, uh, this itch is so bad because there's so much dead skin. Yes, but I want you to quit that. You know why? why? Because there's bacteria underneath mm -hmm. your nails, mm -hmm. okay? And if you get excoriations like scratches, yep. you could potentially infect your skin. Nice. So stop. Stop. So the answer that would be a no. <laughs> She's going to pop you. Did you, you get your wipe puppy? With alcohol if you want to. What's that? <laughs> it didn't work out. Oh, no, that's no, not no. My that's adult good. dog attacked the puppy twice on two separate occasions, so I had oh. to, I had to do what was back. best for the baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't want anybody getting really hurt. All right, I'll take some self tape. Okay. That's the plan. Just, just, just give them a good rub, rub them the line. It's a good one. What's the plan? No, it's, we're, we're yeah, putting in the lock today. So the plan is, I'm going to, we'll get you back in your shrinker sock, and okay. we're going to take you over to Dr. Clinton's area. Okay. I've got to call them and find out exactly where they want me to send you. Okay. And then Peter I'm going to... was uh, supposed to drop by today. Oh, that's true. Um, what time are they coming? 11.30. Let's have them see you, and then we'll send you over, and I'll, we have a little bit more tape, you know. I don't want this to come off. I got yeah. So, um, if he wants to see it, I'll take it down. I won't put another one on there. Um, I just like to leave it uncovered. 
No, no, no. Um, so let's give him a minute, see where he's at, okay. and then I'll go call Dr. Clinton, and then we'll find out where to send him. Oh. Okay. Awesome. And so this should make him much more comfortable. Okay. okay. It's just the pain is there. It's we'll get you. We'll fix you out. We'll fix you out. <laughs> After okay. last night, I was like, yeah, you know, we're, we're going to go with it. So. Yeah. All right, let me make some calls. And that was uh, that was the video of them taking off the dressings and basically redressing it. And uh, the hanger clinic guy also got a smaller shrinker sock for uh, <laughs> for me to uh, wear on it, so it can shrink it even more. Um, they're very happy with the shrinking process. So um, so we signed up to have um, the catheter put in because last night, I mean, it was so bad. I mean, everyone has their limits and. Um, I'm a very strong person. I tend to not <laughs> want to go the other way in terms of, you know, I want to try to see if it'll go away. I don't want to, you know, reach all the way to painkillers and go, oh, okay, this is what I want because I know how addictive they are and how hard they are to come off of. And it's that's the reason why I chose not to fuse it is I just I didn't want to be on that pain and I didn't want to uh, <laughs> I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to be that statistic and. So, anyways, he uh, we went up to uh, fourth floor Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, and uh, the guy said, you know, let's he's gonna numb up a good portion of the veins to the point where I can't feel them, and I pretty much can't feel anything from the bottom of my right leg down. So that's great. Um, I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. That's good. Um, however, um, just as we were driving back, um, they they by the way they had to partially put me out for it, so I was halfway sedated and uh, they're basically they were going into my nerves and then just figuring out what fluids to basically put on there to shut them off and uh, they they shut me down and then went in and shut off all the nerves so they're just very concerned I mean the nerve guy told me which is this is so freaking disturbing and scary that you know he said I'm so glad that you're in here taking care of this now and I asked him I said why and he goes you know if you don't take care of this this could be permanent. I'm like, excuse me, it could be permanent. And he goes, yeah, no, this this pain that you're experiencing could be, you know, could be permanent and it could never go away if we don't get this, you know, basically fixed right away. And I was like, well, that's that's just encouraging. Great. So the last pain that I've had for the two last two entire weeks and it's felt like someone's been jabbing a knife into me and you know, it is the worst god-awful pain that I've experienced other than it's it's right beside bone graphing. So I've been sitting here day after day on painkillers, not been able to do anything about this pain. I mean, you really freaking can't do anything with it. You can't, you, you can't do anything because it's in a part where it doesn't even exist inside of you anymore. And I am so upset because you can't do anything about it. And for... I mean, and, and this very well could be true. And if this is true, then I, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't go away. Um, I didn't want to be that statistic of a person that, oh, hey, you know, your nerves are out of control and we're not able to correct it. Sorry. And then all of a sudden they don't, there's nothing they can do for you to shut it off. And so, um, but we were actually coming home after the doctors and we were there until about 6 p.m. and we started driving. And all of a sudden, halfway through the drive, I started to feel, you know, extreme pain again. And what I am feeling is that on the right side of the foot is that a lot of things are turned off there. I can't feel them. That's great. Um, I would take the whole foot being turned off at this point in time. What was the foot? I don't really care if they numb it from the waist down. Um, just anything to stop the pain. I mean, it's not like I can feel physically anything anyways. Um, like I don't have a foot to even feel it. So if they were to numb everything up from the waist down for months on in, I really don't care. Just to get go ahead and get the pain away. And <laughs> I'm just so so enraged if that would happen because you know just like the reason I'm doing these videos people can watch them and go oh well on Monday he was experiencing this and Monday he was experiencing that and this is the way he was feeling there's no really been a video where a person's done like a daily video log and said this is how I feel or this is the way it's been going down or these are the days or how many days I felt this and um, that <laughs> That's what people are looking for, and if I would have known this ahead of time, or at least maybe I can look at a couple of videos and go, did you experience the same thing, or, you know, what do you think about this, or, you know, bounce some ideas off of people, and 
at least people are going to watch these and be able to go, you know what, he was feeling this, he was feeling that, and that's why I'm doing this. This is all the reason why I'm doing this. This is There's no other reason. Um, I want to document this for you guys so you're not having half of the problems that I am right now in terms of trying to get answers, and I don't know, I'm, I'm like on the border point of crying right now because I'm so so upset and there's nothing I can do about it. It's gone, it's not there, and it's still hurting. Um, we knew it was going to happen, like I looked up Phantom Pain, I was like, yeah, it's going to happen, it's part of the thing. However, if they, if I would have known it's to the point where I can't even freaking concentrate on a video game that I'm playing or, you know, just typing up a simple work document, no, no bueno, don't like it, don't want it. Um, Either way, I looked, I was screwed, but this this is incredible. So, um, anyways, we're probably more than likely going to call the doctor tomorrow, let him know what's going on, because he has to know. And um, otherwise, um, stay tuned till tomorrow. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, otherwise, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And by the way, if you like what you see, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button on the lower bottom right of this video. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.